Hey, Byron, maybe you should wear one of those masks when you do commentary. You'd never see my face. Or hear you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 182 pounds. One of the most exciting competitors in all of WWE. Ali can drop your jaw with some of his mind-blowing offense. Things just got nutty around here. Oh, boy. And his opponent from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 232 pounds, Eric Young. The seeds were planted in NXT, have cultivated chaos no matter where they've gone. The maniacal mastermind behind the madness. As long as Eric Young's been around the sports entertainment business, it's still next to impossible to figure out what exactly makes this guy tick. Yeah, we talk about how bizarre and weird this guy is, but he's an absolute technician. There's a fine line between madness and insanity and genius. Eric Young dances among them. comes to Eric Young, it's that he will not hesitate to use his body as a weapon. Oh, he's out of his mind. And then there's Ali, one of the most dedicated competitors we've ever seen in WWE, who just won't stay down, won't give up, and always stands up for what he believes in. I'm half tempted to call that attitude foolish, but Ali's so steadfast, even I'm impressed. It's been an elacious encounter thus far. The tides have swung in multiple directions. It's anyone's guess how this one's going to end. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we close to the beginning of the end? Coming from 205 Live to the main roster, Ali has found himself in some real David and Goliath matchups. How has he been able to turn those situations to his advantage? Let's say it's more like Jack and the Beanstalk, actually. Jack and the Beanstalk. Think about it. Ali climbs the turnbuckles like a beanstalk, and then it comes falling through the sky with the 054 to bring down the bigger man. Saxton, you are a child. Enough wow. already. Head crank. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Tough spot to be in. Boom, what a right. Gosh. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. He's absorbing some tough hits now. 
Things are not looking good for him right now. Oh, right in the face. Oh, man, Young gets out of the way there quickly. Teen off. Dragon sleeper applied. Ali's got something to prove, but he may lose this thing. And breaks the hold. Oh. Kick right to the midsection. Oh, here it comes. The sit-out pile driver. That can't be enough, can it? And Ali just barely manages to escape. Ali still has some more high flying to do, apparently. And setting him up. Oh, the knee to the hands. That's gonna hurt. Really seems like Ali is in a world of hurt. He can't recover from a beating like this. Guys, we know that if Ali's heart is beating, he has a chance to turn this thing around. He broke out of it. Cole, how in the world did he find the energy to do that? In the face! Ah, oh, here it comes! Sit down, pile driver! This could mean trouble. That's how you establish dominance. Uh oh, no, don't do this, don't do this. Really just laying it in. Look at this. Kick to the cut. Boom! DDT. He's got him down. Is this it? Oh, how resilient was that? Wow. He caught him slipping. Looking vulnerable now, guys. Oh, using the top rope as yeah. an advantage. Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Oh.
back in from the floor. And now it's Young on the offensive. Bang right in the face. Ooh, an overhand punch. Uh oh, I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Cracked a run into a neck breaker. And with the speed. Great officiating. As we all noticed, he was on the ropes. And set him up. Oh, and he the hands. That's going to hurt. A sadistic assault from Young. Things are really going his way now. Now trampling the opposition. Shifting with every turn in the match. But what a close one. Hands again. Right on the mark. Oh, man, what a leg drop. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, DDT. Viking DDT. He's lining him up. Ali is looking at this. He's got to do it quick.
Uh-oh, business is about to pick up. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. What a suplex. What's this? And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Have to wonder what's on her mind. Her eyes tell me that she is ready to roll. Let's see what she has to say. Not feeling the love for that superstar. And we're off. Bringing the attitude. I guess believing you can do something sometimes makes it so, huh? The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Time to recover, though. And this one is over before it begins. If you ask me, the officials need to be a little more lenient with the rules when it comes to big matches like this. and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment, and coming from me, that means something.
And you have to love the way the champ is approaching this match. Title match or not, he's ready to go. And that's what makes him among the absolute best to ever lace a pair of boots. He doesn't care what's at stake. He just wants to win. arena soaking in the entrance of Finn Balor. Few entrances are as spectacular as Finn Balor's. Though I'd say he definitely has his work cut out for him here tonight. Yeah, this was not going to be easy, that's for sure. But hey, is anything worth doing ever easy? never surrender attitude Finn Balor is a superstar who is always ready to fight good to be in Orlando an adopted home of sorts for WWE yeah there's lots of fun parks here too Saxon goes to those discount theme parks just like he's a discount broadcaster hey don't knock it till you try it Corey not many people go to it but that means there's no rides hey want to go with me Michael no Byron no chance ever and here's Finn Balor I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxon. It's all coming to a head now. And now it's Finn Balor. Oh, Montez Ford turning the tables. Ooh-wee. Back suplex. Balor setting up. He has something big planned. Scoop slam! Using the elbow as a weapon. Elbow drop! Big time! Bowers going to want to soften up his opponent's midsection to prepare for the coup de grace off the top. You're right, Corey. If he can hit a few running drop kicks in the corner, he can get the momentum and the advantage he needs. Suplex. Oh, yeah. Scoop slam. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? All the way for the top. Finn Balor is definitely fading a little here. Yeah, he's looking off his game. And here we go. The Boston Crab. Look at the back position. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Oof. Well measured. What a forearm. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. What power. Oh, Montez Ford turning the tables. A striking blow.
Rock off, flipping the script on him there. And here's Montez Ford. DDT! Now's the time to capitalize. Montez Ford has to take advantage now. Montez Ford wins. Corey, I think that may be the biggest win of that young man's career. It's hard not to agree with you, Cole. It was an incredible victory. Yeah, I mean, a hard-fought matchup. And that's a great show of respect. Tremendous sportsmanship. Gotta love it.